Stasa 23 here, and today we have my top 10 most carried folding knives of March. Before we get started, these four uh, EDC fixed blades were the ones that I rotated the most this month. And I, I've been wearing jeans more often, so it's easier for me to uh, carry these fixed blades. And some of y'all saw most of these on live and other stuff <coughs> that I might have shown them, but... This one I got recently, and man, oh man, is it a beautiful, beautiful knife. This is from Ark and Iron, beautiful leather sheath, and just look at this. Absolutely stunning. This is a custom fixed blade um, in Magna Cut, and I think it said like 63 Rockwell, orange micarta, blue G10 pins. Just look at this. This is all like a high satin, comfortable, and is so lightweight. Nice and thin. Yeah, this one, <clears throat> it wasn't cheap, but it, you could you could see the work that went into it. Very, very nice. I like his little logo right there. Excellent jimping. So that one was uh, <clears throat> in the, it was on the belt most of the time. I did throw it in the pocket a few times. I think I'm gonna get a, another sheath that I could uh, clip it to my pocket or uh, carry it on my belt like Scout Carry. It's a perfect size for that. And then also the uh, Terra Knives Trekker. I started doing some testing with this little guy. God, I like his knives a lot. And I, I didn't really think that a, a small fixed blade like this would be as useful as it is. I've been using it for uh, just odd stuff. Another one that's in Magna Cut. His, his uh, fit and finish is just impeccable as well. Very, very nice. And I will put links to whatever is available. I'll put a link to his site and his site. He has some stuff available and he does drop. So if it, if you go on a site and it's not available at that time, just follow him uh, and sign up for his newsletter or whatever so you can be notified. And then the new uh, Tactile Knife Co. and Christensen Knives Dread Eye collaboration. Uh, I'm still undecided about this one. I tell you what, this thing is deceivingly lightweight. It's they got to have a lot of skeletonization in there. This thing is a paperweight. Uh, for me, it's uh, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not a huge Tanto fan, um, and I'm just not sure about it. You know, I I don't know. I like some things about it. <laughs> it's funny. All three of these are in Magna Cut. Um, not sure if it'll stick around, but it's it's cool. And then lastly, I was. Trying to see if I still, I used to uh, carry a neck knife all the time. So I decided to put this one around my neck. This is the Kaiser uh, Variable Warncliffe. It's a Dirk Pinkerton design. It's, uh, you know, designed to be used like this. It's more of like a slasher type. But for me, I, I grab it like this in a pinch grip like that. And, you know, use it to open boxes and stuff like that. Um, for the price, you know, I, I think it's a, a very cool little fixed blade, D2 steel, and I don't think, I still, I, I don't like, I used to not mind a neck knife around my neck underneath my shirt when I need it to be, but I just, it, it bothers me now, so um, I think I'm just going to convert this to uh, either scout carry or somewhere uh, on horizontal on the belt and uh, make it just a regular EDC fixed blade. It's, it's very compact and it's still useful. So let's get into the folders. All right, these are in no particular order, but first up we have the Kaiser Torngut. And I was carrying this one initially just uh, for the testing and review. Once again, it's a Tanto blade, but I, I ended up liking this one because it has this very deep hollow grind on here that comes down nice and thin, and this thing slices like nobody's business. It's got nice action, and it's something that uh, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Kaiser, like, you know, the extra stuff, like this inlay in the clip, um, nice backspacer contrast, and uh, the that grind. Definitely wish Kaiser would start doing this more often. They do a really good hollow grind. S35VN, nice and smooth action. Next up, we have the Hogue Ritter. R Mini RSK, the Knife Forks exclusive uh, version. Uh, this is the only place you can get the Hogue Ritter from is Knife Forks. 
And this is the uh, limited run or, I don't know, special run in Magna Cut and uh, carbon fiber. And I like some things about the knife. You know, uh, it came ridiculously sharp. It's uh, smooth out of box. I think it looks nice. But man, I knew that this was going to be aggressive, this pattern up here and on the sides from my uh, original one that I have in G10. <clears throat> I knew it. And I had to, you know, sand off all the peaks on this just because my hands, you know, are a lot more sensitive than the average hand. But man, this, the carbon fiber is almost like, I don't know, it almost like catches my skin and it's not that comfortable. So I will be taking these scales probably and um, going with some like 1500 grit sandpaper and lightly sand off some of the uh, aggressive nature of it. So, and you can see it, it's already catching stuff underneath that clip because it's sitting on top of this. So it's like, whoosh. so yeah, pocket shredder and hand shredder for me. All right. Next up, we have the Kaiser Drop Bear. This is the uh, titanium scaled one with the LC200 in, and it's got that beautiful stone wash on it. I don't love the Anno, but I, I do love that finish. It is so wicked looking. It looks like crystals are what it, I think uh, Karen Eve said it looked like uh, galvanized metal, and I, I do see that as well. Nice metal titanium pocket clip. I'm basically... I've been carrying it and using it. Just want to see how the how they do on the LC200N. Because it's a good steel. Um, and I don't have to worry about it rusting. And for me in the south, that's a big deal. And I love the drop bear. All right, next up we have the Kanwu Pulsar. And man, oh man, I love this knife. This is an outstanding knife for the money. They, they put out some excellent, excellent knives for... Very, very, very competitive prices. Yeah, that beautiful texture on the titanium. This is a crossbar lock as well. Beautiful uh, crown spine and slicey LMAX blade. Beautiful action as well. No play. Their, their crossbar lock actually is probably better than uh, Hogue's crossbar lock. This one is solid as a rock. I like how it can choke up on it. Love that blade shape. Definitely a fidgety knife. Comes with two sets of springs. You can uh, increase the tension if you want to. The ones that it comes on comes with, I think, are the weaker springs. I like that. I find a lot of times those stronger springs, it's hard for me to deploy it with my poor dexterity. But if these are still available and you're on the fence, I'd, I'd definitely say pull the trigger because this is a phenomenal knife. The next one is, is one that hasn't been released yet. And that is the new uh, Concept, was it Arcus on this one? Yeah, the Concept Arcus, a no-stop hell design. There's a, there's a lot of things I love, love about this knife. I've only found two, you know, one nitpick and maybe one flaw. Um, I'm still, you know, doing some testing with it. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm hopeful for this knife. I just hope the flaw doesn't become, you know, a deal breaker, but we'll see. We have the Devo Knives Pony Stout, another one that is probably going to be releasing soon. Um, sent this one in for review, and man, <laughs> talk about a fidgety little guy. Comfortable. I can get a, a nice four-finger grip with that choke up. Love, love the Pony Stout. This is going to be a, a super popular one for him. I can see it now. Another beautiful crown spine up there on the top right here. I think these are in 14C 28N if I remember correctly. Nice stone washed, nice grind, wire pocket clip, beautiful action, contoured micarta scales. Yeah. All right, now this one, this one was, you know, impulse buy, and that is the Surge Panchenko Trisect, I think it is. Um... It's a beast. I ain't gonna lie. It's a chunk of chunk of. Um, it's like a cleaver shaped blade or whatever they, they call in it. it. It's decently comfortable. I love the flaming on that uh, titanium inlay. Looks excellent. 
And I'm glad to see, I, you know, I had another Panchenko knife that, you know, it had a few uh, QC problems and uh, I, the OEM for that one I wasn't really impressed with. And I knew this one had to have been a different OEM because it it's done excellent. Outstanding. And uh, the OEM, I was told, is Best Tech, and that makes a lot of sense. They do some excellent OEM work. <laughs> that is a huge, huge uh, sharpening chaw. I can fit my pinky in there. <laughs> but I'd rather see that than a big old smile on the back. That is uh, the Surge Punch and Gold Tricep. We have the Strider PT Plus from ProTech. Um, this is another one that at first I was like, eh, it was just kind of kind of boring because it's just a plain Jane black and stone wash. But I've been using this one. <clears throat> this is another one in Magna Cut. And uh, I've been enjoying it. You know, this one also has some things that I, I like a lot, some things that I don't like at all. But, you know, overall, it's ProTech quality. It hits hard. Nice side opening automatic. And, uh, yeah. And uh, the this one is a Kaiser. This is a Kaiser Clairvoyant. Man, I'm, I'm almost... I have one more portion of the test to do with this knife. But... <laughs> I have really, really been enjoying it. This is a Munco design, the same guy who uh, designed the uh, Kaiser Comet. And yeah, this is a nice full-size EDC knife, comfortable. The uh, one thing that I did notice, so this is, a, I'm pretty sure, like the forged carbon fiber. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's got some, um, got some voids. It's not terrible or anything, and it's not, you know, that big of a deal. You can see them up here, too. It's the nature of the beast sometimes with these forged carbon fibers. And one more last one. We have the concept. Oh, man. The name just now escaped me. I should have never said nothing. Is it on here? Yeah, the concept, I think it says in Integra. At first, I was just carrying this to, uh, I mean, started doing the testing to test their Damascus. And the more I carry this, the more I like it. The action, just, this, this, this action is so buttery smooth, comes out nice. Uh, even though this isn't the version I would have picked, I definitely wouldn't have picked the Lightning Anno. It's just not my thing anymore. And I probably wouldn't have went Damascus, but I've been bonding with this one. Just, uh, it might just be that action. And I'm not even a big uh, flipper fan, especially when it's a uh, minimal flipper, but this one just works well. Comfortable so far. What do y'all think about this one? Before I let y'all go, y'all let me know <coughs> what folders made it into your pocket the most in March. Um, <clears throat> if you can't remember, you know, all. I mean, if you can't remember three of them, just, just give me one of them then. I love, I love whenever y'all tell me y'all carries because I feel like we're hanging out and we're talking about, we're showing each other, you know, what knives we carried, you know, the most this month. And it's kind of like doing a live stream, you know, that kind of helps us connect in that way. Uh, got good news, I guess, for y'all. Anybody who didn't win on the giveaway, um, I guess this is good for me, but... Uh, this time we had three out of the six people claim their prizes and one of the person the person that didn't claim their prize was the first place prize so that will be going back in a giveaway post uh, i'm not sure how i'm gonna do that yet i may do another live and try to give those uh three prize packs away we'll, we'll figure something out but y'all keep being awesome if y'all have any questions comments concerns y'all can leave them down below if you're interested in any of these that are available, I will have the links down in the description. Uh, those links do help out the channel, or at least most of them do, depending on which knife it is. And uh, I, I, I highly appreciate that. This, that's, you know, I don't have a whole lot of revenue streams when it comes to this channel, and it helps out a lot. All right, guys and girls, I hope y'all are having a great day. I will see y'all on the next one. Bye, bye, bye.